starting off right here, the question sentence. What is its area? Here, here's our first example. What is its area? Everybody, we have the advantage of having this hyper-specific geometry word, area. Whenever we see that, whenever we know we're dealing with a geometry-specific problem, you always want to ask yourself, if I'm looking for area or perimeter or volume, what shape? What shape? That's the first question you ask yourself after you know what the question is. What shape? Everybody, what shape are we dealing with in this question? Absolutely correct. Dealing with a square. It says it there in the first sentence. But the first thing we know is that we're looking for the area. Once we know that we want area, we know that there's a formula for it. We just need to know what shape. They reveal to us that the shape we're dealing with is a square. And from there, we see that it says, hey, if we want a square, we know a formula for it. Pop quiz, everybody. What is the area of a square? And the area of a square is going to be the side times the side. And so, everybody, are we given the side? A square has a side length of seven inches. Do we have the side? Yes, we do. So this one's a very straightforward question. We just plug it in and we're done. So seven times seven, that's gonna give us 49. And we are good. There's our area. Now a follow-up question, pop quiz, what are the units that I'm gonna include? Is the answer, since it's inches right here, is the answer gonna be 49 inches? Is that the case for area? I got a couple of yeses, but then a ton of no's. Yeah, the answer is no. The correct answer here is no. When it comes to area, everybody, areas, units are always listed in square units. So no, not centimeters, not feet. We're dealing with inches here, but the answer is going to be square inches. So we can write it like this, or we can write it as 49 square inches. Either way, we're saying the same exact thing. But remember, when it comes to area, we are dealing in two dimensions. We are multiplying this by this. So it's two dimensions, two dimensions. And that's why we have it as square inches.